What is really particular about this new breed of evangelical movement is the theatre of it, and in particular the music of it. A lot of it is, is like a gig. There are those moments where you have kind of, you know, goosebumps and you're thinking, I am alive with the spirit. The music has to be bold. It has to be big and it has to be prepared to make a statement and prepared to provoke thinking about big stuff. Matt Cameron had worked with Tim Finn before. You know, we're lucky to get Tim and his son Harper. Matt Cameron has kind of followed my work through the years, really and I knew that I could trust him, that he had good taste and knew my work well. So when he came to me about this, I sort of was drawn to it because of him, but also it just intrigued me. It was like a, a subject matter in an area that I'd never imagined myself in, but that's one of the things I love about being a musician or a songwriter, quite a lot of unexpected things happen. But I've done a lot of theater work um, the last 15 years in a way, it was a natural step to kind of go into this this world of the mega church and the family behind it. So Harper and I got busy. They did these amazing songs that just work for the church. They work for the environment. Our real characters are really singing the songs. When you're writing songs to serve a story, you feel very liberated to write whatever serves the story best. You're not trying to write anything about yourself or anything that's supposed to reflect who you are. So from that standpoint, I felt very inspired and very free to do this and doing it with dad was, was special. And Matt told us that these songs were going to be performed to thousands of people who are all there to worship their God through the vehicle of music. So it felt big and epic. And anytime you have to fill an arena, you want those songs to feel eternal and everlasting. The Hub has done a lot of festivals over the last six, seven, eight years. And so he knew that feeling of projecting into those big crowds, as I have done over the years too. When you play a festival crowd, they're not necessarily fans, they're not people who know your work well, but there's an energy there that you can ride, you ride the wave. And it's like I'd imagine it would be like that if you were all believing in the same thing. It's not like, you know, you're there to see your favorite group play, you're there to ride this wave of belief and faith and joy. And Listening to music that comes from that world, feelings of euphoria and for me, I was just going on the piano and just coming up with melodies and chord progressions that gave me that feeling. Dad is someone who's very good at being able to get lyrics down quickly. And so I think from that standpoint, we complemented each other really well. I was doing the music and the chords and then Dad would do the lyrics, would come together and just sort of meld them. The song called Turn My World Around. Harper had written this guitar riff it just drew me in and it just felt really strong and compelling and, and I, I came up with some words and a, an extra bit of melody for the chorus and suddenly it was there, you know, it was very quick. love church music. I think they've always been tuned into this idea that you can get in there through what, what music does, which is it just goes straight to you, to the centre of your being. standing on stage with the stage lights and you can't see anyone in the audience and you hear the music and all of a sudden you're transported yourself and you're seeing these evangelical words, these, these songs of praise and all of a sudden you go on your own almost spiritual journey on stage. It's kind of magical, something that surprised me. Singing them and being up on the stage again, I just, I loved and it felt like home. So I watched a lot of Christian bands playing and the interaction between them and the audience and the energy in the air, how much energy to bring and to have when I'm standing there with a guitar, whether it's big, whether it's just chill and small and focusing on worship. Tim and Harper really held my hand and helped me find what sound we wanted to put out to the world as you star. Having Geordie and Andrea there singing with me as well was really important because I think we kind of helped each other grow. It was a really creative process. Music in everyday life, it shifts people, it moves people. I see it in, in the way music is implemented in the show. It's there to shift and move people and pick people up and inspire people and I'm like, great. I remember 